Hi, I'm Terry Brock with TerryBrock.com, and we are here with Mr. Wayne Berry here in Melbourne, Australia. Wayne, thanks for being here. Very good. Very good to be talking to you and seeing you face-to-face again. It's been a little while. Yeah, exactly. We get a chance to see each other on video, on Zoom, on Skype, on Google Hangouts, or whatever, And because uh, you're using these technologies a lot. It's nice to be here. And matter of fact, we are not just in Melbourne, Australia. We are actually on your boat, which is called unstoppable and we are here in the middle of the uh, Philip Bay Harbor is that right? Port Philip Bay. Port Philip Bay. We're back in the marina now but we've been out sailing for a, a little while and uh, it, it's terribly stressful but tough work but someone's got to do it Terry. Yeah, 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 it's been fun. Well you know you epitomize the lifestyle of being able to do what you need to do from really just about anywhere because you're uh, literally sailing this around Australia to Sydney you were over in Sydney just recently right? Yeah, it's just uh, we brought it down from Sydney last week. Took four days, which was an interesting uh, down the east coast of Australia. <coughs> but look, the, the wonderful thing about technology these days, uh, you asked me before, you know, what, what's what's my goals for 2016? And I, I said more time on the water. And you know, I'm really serious about that. In that, if you use technology in a clever way these days, you really can do business. Depending on your business, you really can do business from anywhere in the world. Insofar as my business years ago, and going back eight years now, uh, was the traditional speaker, author type of and trainer type of business, where I was constantly travelling on and off airplanes in and out of hotels, and um, you know, very stressful. It might seem great, but it's it's not stressful. Yeah, it really can be with all yeah. the stress of meeting the flights and doing everything that needs mm. to be done. Because you've got to be somewhere every single day in a different city at a certain time on stage in front of a group of people. You can't say I don't feel well today. I think I. I, I won't do that. The show must go on, they say. Uh, exactly. And uh, in fact, I, I had some illness, very serious illness, uh, around about eight years ago. Stopped me dead in my tracks. Fortunately, I, um, I had the good fortune of, of coming up with this idea of moving my business online, and I had done that. And uh, I've heard that's a good thing to do. Yeah, well, it is. But, but the clients at the time were saying, no, we want you live, face-to-face, as you've always been. And, and I wasn't keen to say, look, I'm really not well and I can't do that anymore. I simply said, that's not the way I do it now. And we have an online system. I'll tell you what, why don't we try it with your people, the online program, and if you don't agree with me that it's actually better than having me there live, face-to-face, well, it'll cost you nothing. And, of course, he took off. And uh, we, we just... Uh, moved ahead from there and, and now we, we have coaches and we have clients all over the world and we're looking for more uh, more c- more qualified coaches who've got a, a strong background in sales background in sales management and have been in business for themselves and, and it's a great business opportunity. Yeah, and I like the way you're doing this, it really you're showing you can do it from anywhere you want and matter of fact that's something I wanted to ask you about because the, many of the people that are watching us right now are thought leaders in the form of uh, speakers or authors, coaches, facilitators and we know hey you can do a lot in anywhere you want in the world and you're doing it here literally on your yacht from all over tell us about what you're doing and how that can happen and how coaches that you're working with are doing that well look, I think one of the things is that there's a growing acceptance of uh, video conferencing and, and talking uh, with people at remote locations uh, even one of my coaches Robert um, uh, spoke to me this morning and said look I, I need to create one of an extra video tip we, we put out weekly video tips we have 60,000 subscribers around the world right now and they're very good video tips I listen to them myself, and I highly recommend that you get in touch with them. And by the way, we're gonna, I'm going to twist your arm just a little bit here. How can they get in touch with those videos? Well, I'm sure you're going to put it up on the screen at the end, but it is waynberry.com.au. You'll, you'll find there, and you'll find a, a newsletter subscription there, and you'll be able to get those on a weekly basis. But Robert contacted me and said, listen, I, I, I need to do this urgently. Do I really need to come over and see you? You're out in the boat. I don't want to interrupt you. Could we do it? Uh, by Zoom. Now, Zoom is a technology that we're using for video conferencing. <coughs> and as I said to Robert, no, there's a great acceptance these days and almost an immediacy and an authenticity of uh, me doing an interview with him wherever he is from wherever I am and putting it out there as a weekly tip. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be super fancy and professional and gobs of money spent on it and green screen background. Sometimes it's best in our background right now is really the, oh, the water here. As a matter of fact, as you can look, there it is. We're looking at the water <laughs> right out there as, as we're recording this right now. So you're doing that and you yeah. live that. Yeah, a- absolutely. So uh, I guess what I'd say to thought leaders out there is uh, look at your business model. I mean, is it sustainable for a start? Um, are you going to be able to continue to do this year after year? You want to be ahead of the curve because um, in so many businesses, they're moving online now. And if you don't move online and your competitors do, you'll be left 
behind. And, and frankly, I, I have so many colleagues and friends who are speakers who, frankly, their business is in decline right now. Uh, companies are using speakers at conferences less than they ever did. Uh, companies are looking for solutions. And companies have challenges, particularly in a country like Australia, where they've got people scattered all over this very big country uh, and in New Zealand, up in Southeast Asia. I mean, how do you bring your people together on a regular basis for training? Mm -hmm. The best way is to do it online with live coaches, which is what we have. Um, where your people can be anywhere in the world, there's no travel costs, there's no venue costs. And I have said so frequently to my colleagues, this is the way it's moving. Why don't you look at the model I have and I'll help you to do it. But um, so far, nobody has done that. I don't quite know why, but um, these same people that I speak to, and I have a great deal of respect for them, are saying, well, you know, there's less and less speaking engagements, it's tougher and fees aren't as good as they used to be. And I'm sort of saying, well, um, Nice talking to you, but I've got to get on the yacht again right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but now, I want to build on top of what you're saying, because right now we see in today's world, many corporations are in trouble. They need extra knowledge. They know they need this extra training. And they also know, hey, it costs a lot to fly everybody to this location mm -hmm. from all over, the lodging, the flights, and plus they're away from the office. But you've created the online way of learning so they can do that in a way that is com comfortable for them. Yes. I like the way you say it. You were telling me beforehand that some uh, here's a lesson you'll have to do, and you need to do this by midnight Friday or something like that, but whenever. You've got to have accountability in it. Uh, and the fact of the matter is doing it this way is much better. Like bringing your people together for a conference and, uh, yes, getting a, a wonderful speaker like Terry there is only a part of the answer. You know, it might, uh, it might facilitate a change in attitude, but really if you want sustained change in behavior, it needs to be a continuous ongoing process. We don't achieve this in a one-day program or a four-day intensive program. People go back to their real world and, and they don't necessarily implement. With the system that we have, there's accountability on a weekly basis. They must take the ideas and put them into action. And we make it very clear that people should not and we will not have them on a program unless they have 100% commitment to use what they learn. So we assess them before they come on the program. They come on the program, which is a 12-month program. It doesn't take 12 months to get the result, but we, we work with them as a sport support them for 12 months and um, they get enormous results plus there's weekly accountability you have to do certain things by certain times every yep. single week discipline is there we also train the sales managers how to follow up locally and do local coaching sessions which many of them don't know how to do coaching uh, you know it's assumed very often when someone moves from a, a lower level into a more senior level a management level in a company that they they suddenly will know how to do that how to do coaching, how to do recruiting, how to motivate their people, uh, how to manage their people, and they don't necessarily know to do that. And, and that happens in sales. They get promoted from sales into sales management. And now the ball game is different. It's about getting results through people. Yeah, and I like it, what you're doing is you are taking the need that many people have for learning to have that ongoing training and learning that really takes place in more than just one occurrence. It also is easier. Too often we as thought leaders will think, oh, I just like the idea of I don't have to get on airplanes and I can do it, and that's nice. Mm -hmm. But from the client's point of view, it's they right. really get more effective learning over a period of 12 months is a reasonable period because you're going to have months where, oh, my, we're, we're super busy. We can't do it this month. Or, hey, we got a little extra time here. We can binge learn a little bit. Well, here's the interesting thing. One of the things that we insist on is that people do not do the training during business hours. It's totally outside of business hours. So really, they can't have the excuse of it's a bit busy right now because the commitment is they do it outside of business hours. For us, it's only about two and a half hours per week they have to find. Not all at the one time, 10 minutes one night, 15 minutes the next night, depending on the length of the video they're watching. Um, and if you can't do that, well, you're not serious. You're really just not serious about improving your performance. Yeah, you've got to make that dedication. I'm going to learn. We all know the importance of learning. We talk about lifetime learning. Well, hey, how about really making that happen on a daily basis mm -hmm. for you? So you are doing that in a wonderful way. And by the way, if you have not seen Wayne's material, get over to wayneberry.com.au. Mm -hmm. See the videos that are there. You're going to be able to learn a lot. You've got a lot of free material in there mm -hmm. and then opportunities for people to get involved in uh, that and work with you. As we look at where we're going, where do you see the future? Kind of as we wrap up here, the future and where we're going with uh, online right now being big and going into the future. Look, I just think online is going to be uh, growing more and more. Um, let, let's face it, the answer to almost everything in life is is online somewhere. YouTube. I mean, th you, you can learn how to do anything with YouTube. Um, so understanding that that's the way people are now liking to learn, liking to grow, and looking for uh, aligning what you do, your business, with it being able to do something more online. And maybe you need to change your business model, but thinking about what it is that the people want. 
uh, in, in terms of lifestyle, improvements in business performance, personal growth. There's enormous uh, growth, I think, in the business of personal growth. Uh, and it's different the way it was in the 70s and 80s when I got started. I've been doing this 38 years now. And I work with people like Zig Ziglar, Dennis Waitley, Earl Nightingale, Tom Hopkins, Brian Tracy, and so the list yeah. goes on. Jim Rowan, absolutely a close friend and mentor for many, many years. Um, and you know, whilst they did it that way years ago, I, I think personal growth is even more important now than it was then. The world is changing much, much more quickly, and there's a market there right now. Uh, if you're a thought leader and if you're, you're a professional and you've got good ideas that you want to share, it's a world market because we now have clients all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and the major challenge we have is, is extra coaches. We would like coaches, um, if anyone's interested in talking to me about that, in, in all different parts of the world. But the good thing is we can handle it from this part of the world. We have clients over the, the world now. And it really doesn't matter whether you're down the street or whether you're in, in Canada somewhere or in London, England, uh, or in Malaysia, we can look after you here. And that's the appeal of the business that my coaches and I, we can be traveling the world, enjoying life, and our clients can be anywhere in the world as well. Yeah. Truly international business. It really is. And for those of you who are watching this, you're watching this, if you're a thought leader, and you think, okay, I want to find out more about it. Let me say this. I've known Wayne for, gee, almost 20 years now or so. We've been working together and uh, do a lot of different things. This man has a lot of information and knowledge. He happens to be in Australia, and before, that was a barrier if you weren't in Australia or there. Now, it is not. And matter of fact, not just for the enormous amount of money that people are making, that your coaches are making, that is there, but even more, the knowledge, the training that you're going to get from this genius. This is a man, I'm going to say this with him right here. He is not only a genius on sales, it helps people, but a gracious, wonderful man. And he is a person that as you get to know him, you work with him, explore and see what's available. And if it's right for you, you will find that your career and your life will be even better. So Wayne Berry, I really admire you, sir, and I'm glad to have you as my friend, my mate, as we say here in Australia, and really appreciate you taking time. Before we let you go, any final words you want to say to thought leaders? Uh, look, I think I'll just finish this video with the, the same thought I finish every one of my videos with, and that is have a great day, make it a great day, and remember it will be the day that you make, so make the most of it. Absolutely. Well, I'm Terry Brock with terrybrock.com. Wayne Berry here with wayneberry.com.au. Be sure and get in touch with him, and thank you very much for joining us today. Okay.